He's a Florida man, Lou! Well, middle of the road SEC team, Auburn, beat Purdue worse than Purdue beat Ohio State. Eh? How's that possible? Listen, I don't want to hear anything else about Ohio State fans being mad at get, uh, about getting left out of the playoff. You, I, I mean, what is it going to take for you guys to learn? Don't get mollywhopped by below average teams during the regular season. Maybe you have a chance to make the playoffs one day. I don't know, but you lose by 40, 50 points, whatever it was, giving up 1,000 yards and a million points to Purdue uh, a month or so ago. Purdue comes out. Uh, Auburn set all kinds of bowl records. Not not just that bowl game, all the bowl games was like the most points scored in the first half. I mean, it was just ridiculous, man. Auburn scored on like its first 10 possessions or something like that. Absolutely pitiful. Just ap I mean, just murdered Purdue. Uh, so Ohio State fans just stopped with all that. And to be real, I was glad to see Auburn win that game. And yeah, I'd pick Purdue to win more on that in a minute, but I was glad to see Auburn win this game. Uh, they needed a big win. Hashtag support Gus. And honestly, I really think Auburn administration uh, should consider giving Gus Malzahn another huge raise and an extension. That was an impressive win by the barn yesterday, and I'm all in favor of the barn locking down Gus Malzahn for the next 10, 15, 20, 100 years, whatever it takes. Paying him seven mil, a now, uh, seven mil a year now, let's bump that up to 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 mil a year maybe. I mean, this was an impressive win against the Big Ten team yesterday by Gus Malzahn, and I'm fully, fully, in support of Auburn, just go ahead and giving him a lifetime contract. All right, several videos up today. I'm going to do uh, a preview video now of three of today's bowl games. I'm going to talk about, uh, what am I going to talk about today? Uh, Florida and Michigan, South Carolina and Virginia, Arkansas State and Nevada. Then I'm going to do a separate video on Notre Dame and Clemson, and then I'll have reaction videos. I'll probably do halftime and post-game videos for both the playoff games that are coming up uh, this afternoon. A uh, recap of yesterday. Mentioned Auburn winning yesterday in the Music City Bowl. I got that one wrong, so Uncle Lou's losing streak was continuing strong yesterday with the early game, but I got it turned around going two for two in the afternoon and evening game. I, I, of course, I had Syracuse over West Virginia. Syracuse pulled it off, and I had Washington State over Iowa State. They pulled it off. Shout out to Brosey Lewis in the Uncle Lou comment section. We're doing this... Uh, we're doing this uh, bowl challenge, uh, bowl mania challenge on ESPN, and there's an Uncle Lou group on there, and there's about 600 of you that are in there, okay? Of the 600 people that are in there, exactly one person has picked every single bowl game correctly so far, and that's Rosie Lewis. Uh, hats off to you, sir. That, that's amazing. That's unbelievable. Uncle Lou, uh, I'm in the top third. I I'm ranked 178th out of like the 600 of you guys that joined. So I'm in the top third, not doing too bad, uh, looking to get it turned around here. Now that some of the more uh, known teams are playing, right, I actually think it's easier to pick the games, uh, to me anyway, once uh, some of these top 25 teams start playing than it is to pick in the beginning when you got teams like Tulsa and Northern Illinois and uh, these teams that you just don't tend to follow throughout the year. So we'll see if I can uh, we'll see if I can turn it around here, starting with today's games. Uh, all right, here we go. We're going to preview these games now. All right, as usual, this preview and prediction video is going to be sponsored by the good people over at betnow.eu. There's a link in the description of this video. If you click that link, it'll take you over there, and they're going to get you set up with all your college football betting needs for the entire bowl season. Uh, NFL playoffs, last week of the NFL regular season, March Madness a couple of months away. Whatever you need, they can take care of you over there. Click the link in the description of this video, sign up, register for an account over there. Use the, uh, use the promo code Uncle Lou. It's one word, all lowercase letters, Uncle Lou, and they're going to give you a bonus on whatever you deposit. Good luck. All right, coming up first today, uh, oh man, this is a good one, ain't it? Man, this is a good one. These are the two mo these are two of the funnest coaches to make fun of. Florida versus Michigan. Florida ranked 10, Michigan ranked 7. This is the Peach Bowl. Comes on noon uh, on ESPN. Michigan's a five and a half point favorite in this one, the Fighting Dan Mullins uh, against the Fighting Jim Harbaugh's. Uh, what's going to happen here? Well, this is the third time these teams have played in the last three years, right? They played two years ago in the Citrus Bowl. How'd that work out for Florida? Well, not too well. Michigan mollywhopped them 41 to 7 back in 2016. They opened up the season in 2017 with a neutral site game. Of course, this uh, game, a little weird, being that half of Florida's team was suspended. But nevertheless, Florida again uh, laid the smackdown on, or Michigan, I'm sorry, laid the smackdown on Florida, 33-17 to latchers. So Michigan won two in a row over the last two years. 
uh, looking for the trifecta here in the Peach Bowl. Michigan's got half its team sitting out. Half, half Michigan's team has already quit and looking for the NFL. Mainly Rashad Gary, Devin Bush, and running back uh, uh, Karan, uh, what's his name? Higdon, is that his name? Uh, Will they miss Higdon? Yeah, but uh, Rashad Gary and Devin Bush are not replacing those two guys. Now, Michigan has recruited at an elite level along the defensive front over the last few years, so it's not that they don't have any talent, but these guys are all world. Michigan's going to miss those guys for sure. We'll see if Florida is able to take advantage of that. You look over at Florida. What kind of offense are we going to see from Florida today? It's been an up-and-down season for Florida, right? Impressive wins against teams like uh, LSU, uh, but then you lose to Kentucky, right? Uh, you get blown out by Georgia and Missouri in back-to-back -back weeks, but then you finish strong winning your last three games or, or uh, whatever it was, South Carolina, uh, uh, Vandy, whoever it was, Florida State. Anyway, Michigan was a better team throughout the majority of this season, right? I don't think anyone would argue that. Up until Michigan got blown out by Ohio State, a lot of people had Michigan pegged as a potential playoff team. Of course, that got derailed uh, at the hands of Urban Cryer or Liar, uh, Meyer, uh, whatever the hell his name is. Uh, is this the biggest ball game Dan Mullen has ever coached in? Uh, no, <laughs> it's not. Uh, Mississippi State back in 2014, he played in the Orange Bowl. Yes, Orange Bowl bigger than the Peach Bowl. Sorry, uh, it just is. Uh, but Mississippi State's a better program than Florida, so of course uh, he played in better bowl games at Mississippi State than what he's likely to see here at Florida. But the Peach Bowl, pretty good uh, bowl game for Florida to make it to this year, coming off of a four-win season last year. They're sitting at 9-3, and three, like I mentioned, Michigan 10-2. and two. <sighs> What's going to happen in this game? I think this is a hard game to pick here. Yeah, uh, if Michigan's defense shows up ready to go and play and can replace Gary and Bush and play at an elite level, I think Florida could have trouble moving the ball on Michigan's defense. I mean, I don't, I don't think I'm breaking any news with that statement there. Uh, if it goes the other way, Michigan's defense doesn't come ready to play, I think Florida's offense can move the ball. And Florida's got a pretty good defense too. Not on the level of a Michigan, but, uh, but Michigan doesn't have an offense like Florida's either. Florida's offense not record-breaking or anything like that, but compared to Michigan, I, I like Florida's offense a little bit more than Michigan's. Five and a half seems like a lot of points to give in this game to me. I do not think currently, uh, given Michigan's current roster situation and the number of quitters they have on their team, I do not think Michigan is five and a half points better than Florida. For that reason, give me the Gators. I'll take the five and a half. All right, and this game just, for some reason, this game just doesn't interest me all that much. And not a knock on South Carolina fans, but South Carolina versus Virginia in the Belk Bowl. Um, not a big name bowl game. Not a high-profile team you're playing in Virginia. Uh, South Carolina had a disappointing season in my mind. I, I, South Carolina was the second-best team in the East, I think, this year, and they finished, what, fourth or something, whatever it was, uh, fifth, I, whatever. Point is, uh, South Carolina really let some people down this year. But you're a four-point favorite in this one against Virginia. Comes on noon at ABC. Virginia's lost uh, uh, their last two games heading into bowl season. Both in overtime, though. Virginia Tech and uh, Georgia Tech, they sit at 7-5. and five. South Carolina also 7-5 and five with losses to Georgia, Clemson, Kentucky, Texas A&M, and Florida. Uh, Will Muschamp. Uh, some people are scratching their head here, but I don't know. Of course, I support Will Muschamp 150%. Uh, Will Muschamp works for UGA, always has. We send him around from program to program to uh, destroy him from the inside out. Did it at Florida. Uh, now he's doing it at South Carolina. But uh, South Carolina should have won nine or ten games this year. That's just eight at the absolute. Eight wins would have been a disappointing season, I think, for South Carolina if you go back and talk to South Carolina fans in the offseason. I think if you told them they were going eight and four, they'd be mad at you. In fact, I know they'd be mad at you because I, I made a video back in February where I said South Carolina could go nine and three, possibly ten and two. Uh, and South Carolina fans got mad as hell at me. Uh, that's right. They were going 11-1 and one and winning the East and the SEC and yada, yada, yada. Anyway, none of that happened. You're 7-5. and five. I don't think this is a very interesting game. I also don't think Virginia's a very good team. I don't think they'll be able to move the ball against South Carolina. I think South, Car South Carolina has a history, especially under Will Muschamp, of showing up in bowl games. Look at last year, big win over Michigan in a bowl game. I look for South Carolina to do the same thing this year. Give me the shame, Cox. Lay the four points. All right, and unfortunately, they're still throwing these who-care bowls at us uh, this late in the in bowl season. But the Arizona Bowl, whee! Uh, Arkansas State versus Nevada. This game's a pick 'em. Arkansas State eight and four, Nevada seven and five. Not going to sit on here and pretend to be an expert about either one of these two teams. Give me Nevada uh, to win a close one. All right, there you go. That's the three early games coming up today. Uh, the bowl matchups coming up today: two at noon, and then you got Arkansas and, and Nevada, which no one 
cares about. I mean, remember, I did the Alabama-Oklahoma video yesterday, so if you haven't seen my preview on that one, click back one video from this one. Uh, I'll put a link up here if I can remember, and it'll take you to the uh, Alabama-Oklahoma preview I did yesterday. And coming up later today, uh, I'll do the Clemson versus uh, Notre Dame preview. That game comes on at 4 o'clock, so I'll try to get the video out at least a couple of hours uh, before the game starts. And then I will have uh, reaction videos going up uh, at halftime and post-game of both playoff games today. Uh, the one at 4, Clemson-Notre Dame, and then the one at uh, 8 or 8.30, whatever it is, uh, no, uh, Alabama and Oklahoma. Uh, halftime and post-game reaction videos. I appreciate you guys watching. Click the thumbs up, share this video, subscribe if you're not already, and have a great morning. He's a Florida man, Lou!